This exhibition is the IB Visual Arts exhibition. Students have been with me for two years uh, preparing for this exhibition and each student has a concept or an idea that they investigate, they work with, they research, and they come up with artworks that represent that idea. Uh, Isabel Sayer was working on the idea of underneath the rubble, how people pull themselves out of all the misery that happens to them. Uh, this is an example of it. It's called Praying Feet. It's how uh, a person kneels down in prayer when they are facing so many problems and literally rubble. Uh, her idea came from after the, the explosion and she realized that it's not just the port explosion that creates this rubble for you to come out of. This mirror, the broken porcelain, is actually from her house, which is close to where the explosion happened. And they collected the pieces and she made this mirror. The idea of this mirror is you look at yourself in it and you are whole. Even though there is a lot of chaos and rubble around, you are still whole. Mira Murad, for instance, her uh, theme was about disabled people, people with challenges, and how society is not doing enough to help them overcome their challenges. This is a conceptual artwork, and the box represents society, the government, and the balloons represent the people with disabilities and how they are boxed in and they're not being able to fly out and reach their potential. Her whole uh, idea is how society should do more for people with disabilities. This one is about ADHD and how a person with ADHD cannot focus for long because the environment, which is all the background here, is so messed up, they can't focus on one thing. They have to keep on moving. This is about dyslexia and how people who have this uh, challenge have problems reading. It's one artwork that, depending how you put it, you can see it or not. Mira created this artwork to show that people with disabilities can reach the top, they can reach the summit, but it takes time. And this is what all these cobwebs show, the passage of time. It takes time, but it is achievable. Lean Domiati's concept is about loneliness. This conceptual art piece is called Table for One. And I don't know what can represent loneliness more than something like this. Drained, and it represents the emotional toll that being lonely puts on a person. Kiara Tebet's concept is the perception of truth. I just have to say that Kiara has undergone as a child and recently a lot of surgery, and she had many problems, and when she's going through surgery, she suffers a lot from nightmares. So this piece, for instance, represents the layers of nightmares where it is done in one nightmare after another, after another, after another. And this layering is what is represented here. This piece is called delirium. After one of her operations, when she was maybe four or five years old, she remembers waking up from the anesthesia and seeing her parents as clowns with balloons and nobody could, could convince her that it was her parents and not clowns. She still holds this image. What, 14 years later, she still holds this image and this is how she represented it. Rayan Saoud worked on the idea of a forced goodbye. Rayan was having a lot of trouble with these goodbyes. So many friends of his had to leave the country so many things have happened to him in the past uh, two, three years that he got it all out in his art. This piece by Rayan is called Society's Mask. 
and it represents how people in a society weave that mask that we use. But before that, the shadow represents the society before. Min qalbi salam li Beirut. Li Beirut. Represents the people who had to leave Lebanon uh, during the 1975 civil war and how the ships went and the people who stayed behind. The character is inspired by Modigliani because of this ghost-like uh, silhouette features that he painted. Beirut, this is called plural Beirut. And this represents the seven times Beirut has been demolished and rebuilt. Each level is one of the Beiruts under Beirut. And they are all slanted except for this one which is now straight but nobody knows if it might slant and another Beirut is built on top of it. The rod that is here he got from the Beirut explosion. You would think this was the Mona Lisa but actually it's the Mona who? Had it been the Mona Lisa in Lebanon when the explosion happened, everybody all over the world would have rushed to save the artwork that was damaged in the explosion. But because it's Mona Hu, not Mona Lisa, nobody cared. A lot of our artwork, beautiful pieces, were ruined during the explosion and not much was done about it because it wasn't the Mona Lisa. Noor Fawaz worked on the idea of violence in society and this piece uh, inspired by Henri Matisse's uh, goldfish is floating freedom. It represents how whoever you are, whatever color you are, you can be moving in the same direction to make society better instead of going against each other and causing problems. It's called gender with a question mark. It represents that in the Lebanese government, through her research, she found out that only 3% of the government is represented by women. So using Picasso's cubism style, she represents three women, the 3% in the government, but so manly that does it, do we really have to be masculine females to belong in the government? Malik's conceptual artwork is called Catch Me If You Can, and it is just a pillow, a pristine, untouched pillow. And the lights represent the dreams that are going away. The older he is getting, the more stress he has, the less time he has to put his head on this pillow and dream. So his dreams are just fading away and the pillow is untouched, sleepless. Malik's Hall of Flame is about artists that inspired his artwork. They influenced the magic of using material in his art. His Hall of Fame, or Hall of Flame, was five pieces, five portraits. Unfortunately, one of them broke, so we couldn't hang it. And more unfortunately, the one that broke was a portrait of myself. Sisek Han worked on the idea of utopia. Being as you are, walking through utopia, trying to achieve utopia, and looking back at it. Passing by Utopia is an acrylic of, uh, on canvas uh, by Asil, and it is the transition from utopia to the real world that highlights the final moments in an individual's ideal life left to face the tragedy of reality. Hello darkness, my new friend. This painting depicts the acceptance of living in the real world and having to look back at your innocence. 
and your utopia as you say your farewells. Yet at the same time, you greet your future and present with a hello of acceptance. Using the anatomy of the man, she depicts the strength it takes in order to let go of the one's happy memories through the detail of the muscle. The scale, the size of the piece holds significance as it reflects the real world being consumed and forced into acceptance. Ilana Tebit's uh, concept was about societal expectations of women. In this piece called A Shot of Regression, she shows the female, the woman in society, how she is succumbing under the pressures of this patriar patriarchal society, which is crushing her, making her little and insignificant. In societal spiral, the ideal body is non-existent. The voluptuous and full physiques tend to grasp the attention of society. A woman of such a physique is spiraled with criticism of society despite her acceptance of herself. and what they have been able to achieve.